Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little tackle warehouse unboxing. Uh, actually it's not too little, it's a three pound, a three pound box. Uh, a lot of soft plastics in here. Anyways, uh, I went back and got in on, on the sale that they were having for the fall. The, uh, Cause they had a lot of really good sales going on. And anyways, I wanted to go back and buy some more stuff and, uh, you know, do what we do. Show it, you know. Show, 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 show. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to show these baits off. And, uh, you know, some of them you might have seen before. Some of them you might not have. I'm not even really for sure what I ordered, I done forgot. Uh, but anyways, uh, I wanna thank y'all for watching, subscribing, commenting, and all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And hit the thumbs up. That way my channel can get around and we can get up to 700 and get that giveaway going. Uh, like I said, the quicker we get to 700, quicker we do the giveaway. And then we can start working on that next one, which will be the big 800. And, you know, the ultimate goal here is to reach a 1,000. Uh, and, you know, if I do make it there, I'll be really ecstatic. I've had some amazing comments, comments about me helping people through rough times. And, you know, that's why I do this stuff. I like to help. And, uh... You know, give y'all an idea of what stuff y'all might want to buy and try out and what you might not want to, you know. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's dive into this box and see what we got. One thing I can say about Tackle Warehouse boxes, they don't normally come damaged. I guess because they come on UPS. But anyways, we got our paper towels or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got the list of items we bought. And uh, there's quite a few items in here. Uh, I didn't remember buying that much, but you know. Whenever stuff is on sale, you take advantage and sometimes you spend more than what you thought you did and sometimes uh, you buy enough. So, uh, what we're going to do here, I don't know how to do this. Uh, let's see let's do it this way. Can I turn this thing sideways? First up, we got some chase baits these are are these the flip-flops yeah flip-flops and i've got a bunch of these but i do not have this color this was a uh, green pumpkin chartreuse four and a quarter inches long and it is a six pack I will take it out and show it to y'all for the ones that might have not have seen it. Got a lot of juice in there. But anyways, here is the flip-flop. This thing is really nice. It's got these little wings right here. They call the rolling wing. Or the rolling hood. But anyways, I really like that green pumpkin chartreuse. It's not too bright, but it's just bright enough. And, uh, anyways, man, the best way to fish this, I've found, is just throwing it out there itself, either with a peg weight, and, uh, you know, basically just fish it Texas rig by itself. Because that, those wings, those rolling, uh, hoods, give it a lot of good action. Uh... Not saying that trying to fish it other ways is a bad idea. I'm not saying that at all, but 
that's the best way I found to get the hood to uh, move really well or on a jig head a jig head works really well too next up we got some uh, Z-Man scented paddlers this one's in red bone and these are a four inch and it's a five count I like the color red bone uh, so it's scented with Procure Super Gel made from a hundred percent real bait huh that's new made from a hundred percent real bait uh, it's got a smell to it that's for sure but what it made out of a lies tug I wonder what that means you know uh, so there's your little boot tail uh, and it's segmented I mean you can see the little segments in it but yeah really nice little paddle tail boot tail I should say uh, I call all uh, paddle tails paddle tails. Uh, you know, I know there's boot tails, paddle tails, whatever, but I call them all paddle tails is what I call them. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's kind of weird. I wonder what they mean by that. Scented with Procure Super Gel made from 100% okay so, so it's scented okay i thought they were saying the bait was made out of a out of a hundred percent bait i was like what next up we got some uh power bait flute worm and this one is the 4.7 inch designed by mike Iaconelli. and it's a 15 count and the color is red bug. Can't ever go wrong with power bait. I don't think power bait makes a bad bait at all. But anyways, here's that red bug. I really like it. Red bug is a real good color. Uh, a lot of people don't use it. I don't know why, but red bug and plum and them... I mean, if you really look at an earthworm, a lot of times it's red. If you put it up into the light and stuff, it looks red. And it looks like it's got brown in the middle of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, it says to fish that one weedless of the wide gaff hook. Uh, so, you know, that's cool. I guess that's why it's got all them indentions in there. That way you can put you a... Uh, a rubber band you know one of them bands on there and hook it up in different ways all right so i bought these i bought these before and the ones that i bought before were the three inch and they were real tiny i mean little bitty guys and these are still small but anyways these are robo worm a live shed and i went with the four inch and you get eight of them, and this one is Breaking Dawn. And the reason why I bought these is because I wanted to try the bigger version. The small one is just small. I mean, like, teeny tiny. See, that's more like it. That's more like a, you know, a drop shot size. I mean, not saying that I couldn't catch something off the other one. But this seems more sizable, you know. So you, sometimes you get three inch stuff and it's bulkier and it makes it look like a three inch. And then sometimes you get a three inch and it just like little bitty, you know. I know I'm just rambling on, but you know, it is what it is, what I do. 
But anyways, that is that breaking non color. You know, I uh, really didn't get into the dawn uh, twilight and all morning dawn colors until this year. So that's why I, in a lot of my unboxings you see me buying at least one or two packs of them because I'm trying to build up my collection of morning dawn colors. Everybody talks so highly about them. It being a really good color. Uh, which I'm, you know, I don't see why I didn't think about that whenever you think about the, uh, what is it, the red worm, or red bug, red bug, kind of the same. Alright, so this was a worm that I thought was kind of interesting. This one is made by Netbait, and it's not bait fueled or, yeah, or any of that stuff. But it's a five inch flex worm and it's black blue and it's in an eight pack. Comes in a clamshell apparently. But look at this dude. I'm gonna take it out of the package. Uh, see, I don't see how to do this, okay. See how the clamshell's formed does have some kind of scent in there because it's all over it. But I'm going to get one of these guys out and show it to you. But, look at that dude. He's basically like a triangle. He's got like a triangular top and then it comes down and hits the flat point. And then it goes all the way down the side of the body. I mean, it's really kind of hard to explain. I don't know. Flat on that side, but it's ribbed. And then, y'all can see, I mean, it's got like a rounded part up here. And then it just starts angling down. It's got like a, I don't know, like a ridge on a, uh, like a crawl. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's got like a crawl rib on it and it just goes right down the middle of it and the rest of it's flat but that color is really cool you can't uh, you almost can't even see the black but anyways i thought those were really cool worms i didn't even know that net baited had it had a worm like that and i seen those and i was like man i'm gonna grab a pack of those and check them out because they look really cool. They look like they would create a lot of uh, action underwater. And uh, like I said, they're basically almost like a flatworm, kind of. But ribbed. Flatworm might be ribbed too. But anyways, there's the flex worm from Netbait. And next up... Uh, this is one I've been wanting to try for a while. I've heard I've heard a few good things about this. And I know what a lot of people are gonna say, but you know, Lunker and Hunt ain't nothing but trash, but Lunker and Hunt does make some pretty good baits. Some of them are gimmicky, but like this right here, this is the Lunker Hunt Descend series. And this one is called the Munch Minnow. And the color is minnow. And the cool thing about this is this is actually uh, already weighted for you. It's got salt put, put inside the body. So that way you don't have to weight it down. Uh... So, you know, basically you fish it just like you would a regular fluke. The only difference is they put a lot of salt in there. You can feel little hard spots. And it makes it a lot easier for you to throw it. And it is a, a fork tail. It's got the slit in the stomach. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's got the scent. But, uh, anyways... 
It says to uh, use a four-eye uh, four wide gap hook, which really cool is they send you two of them. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You get two free hooks, and you get, I think, six bodies. Yeah, six bodies. And, uh, see, yeah, that's what I was talking about, a salted core. So, it's got a salted body that goes right there, right there in the head. That's, uh, yeah, where they're saying it's in the head. And, uh, anyways, the, the Sim series, they came out with a bunch of, like, the, the lizard, uh, the salamander, the crawfish, and stuff like that. And I thought that was really cool, but that right there was one I was really wanting to try. Next up is, uh, Lunker City. This one's called the Ribster. It's a four and a half inch uh, paddle tail worm, I guess. And this one's in motor oil pepper. And everybody knows motor oil is a good color, so I guess they added a little pepper to it. Alright, so it's a real, like, uh, the material is a firm plastic. It's not a real soft plastic until you get down here and then it gets real, real soft. And you can see the change in the colors. It's pretty cool. But anyways, I thought those would be pretty cool. Use them as a trailer or something like that. Uh, you know, either that or just throw them out there on a Texas rig. I don't think I've ever fished with Lunker City. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen that packaging before. Maybe they changed up the packaging, I don't know. Uh, so, next up, what do we got here? Oh, we got some uh, 13 fishing. This is uh, the Vertigo Minnow, which is a really good drop shot bait, by the way. And that color right there is called uh, Magic Dragon. Three inches long. Really cool bait. I got some big ones. And some small ones. And actually, no, I think these are the smaller ones I got. Yeah, that's why I got them, because these were small. Anyways, they come in two different sizes, a four inch and a three inch. And most, all the ones I've got are four inches. So I wanted to check out this three inch size. But anyways, all the stuff that I'm showing you was on sale for really cheap. I don't know if it still is. But, that's why I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, so, I hope a lot of y'all were able to get in on that sale. And if not, I'm sure they'll have like a Black Friday sale or something. Uh, but yeah, that's the 13 Fishing Vertigo Mano. Oh, uh, so next up, we got the Chase Baits Love Bug. And I bought this in the same color, Green Pumpkin Chartreuse, and I'll show this to you. It's four inches. It looks almost identical to the other one. It's just, this one more of a crawl. More of a crawl instead of a uh, beaver style bait. But anyways, you got your little pinchers and little antennas. You got the eyeballs. And like I said, that little hood right there makes a lot of action. You'd be really surprised. You'd be reeling it in through the water and that thing would be just kicking water.
I don't know what the deal is with Chase Bates this, is this year. I don't know if they're getting ready to release a new lineup or what. I know they have come out with some new baits, but man, like, for the, all year their baits have been on sale on Tackle Warehouse for like three bucks. So, you can't beat that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some uh, Grande Bass Fishing. Uh, this is a six inch salty dog lizard, and this one is in June bug. Y'all know me, I like my lizards, so I had to go and get some of these. I think the other one I have from them is in red bug. So this is their June bug. Really nice looking lizard gonna create a lot of action with the little curly legs and stuff uh get eight of them in a pack not bad at all like i said i think they were only like a dollar or something i was really surprised but a lot of this stuff that was on sale it was only on certain colors so you had to go with what you got uh next up this is another one I've been wanting to try. I really wanted the paddle tail version, but I had to settle for this one. This is the Jinko Fishing Trimmer Shed. Three and a half inch, and it's got a straight tail on it. But look at that color scheme on there. It's called Hot Shot. Got that pink, that blue, uh, and then it's like a clear see-through and then pearl. I'm not going to open this one up. It's all stapled up together. And plus, y'all can see it pretty good through there. Uh, but anyways, it's... I think... Yeah, it's got a little... Yeah, it's got a little hook slot for you to stick your hook in and come out the top. But anyways, I'm going to give that a shot. They're hand-poured. Uh, bait fish scented, UV enhanced. Uh, but anyways, I really wanted the paddle tails, but they wasn't on sale, so I went for that. Next, uh, they had these on sale. I thought this was really cool. I've got a couple of these, uh, already, but anyways, I bought another one. Uh, this one is, uh, the Storm 360 Swimmer Search Bait. And this one has a little lip on it. And it's almost like a little crankbait with the paddle tail on it. It gives you a one hook and two extra bodies. And there's actually a little rattle in there. Which I find that to be pretty cool, but I do wish that they gave you a head in every one of them, though, because once you lose that head, the bodies are kind of hard to fit to any other head besides that one because they're cut out. But, anyways, I bought that one. Oh, that was three and a half inches. And it says swimming depth five to seven feet. And the color is true blue. The next one is the same thing except for this one is the shad search bait, which basically just has a regular swim head on it, as you can see. And it is uh, three and a half inches as well. And this one is Smoking Ghost. Really good color. Smoking Shad works really good around here, around, you know, for flukes and stuff. So, all right, so I bought this. Uh, this is the Yozuri 3DR, which is the 3D real series. <clears throat> Get a drink real quick.
but anyways uh these have been out for a while but i couldn't believe it they had these things marked down to like three dollars that's really good for a yozuri bait uh keep it in my hand I'll pop it out of here and show it to you but anyways it's a uh two and three fourth inch long suspending minnow and it weighs a quarter of an ounce and i thought it was really cool a lot yo zuri makes some pretty good stuff you know <sighs> And they package it good as well. So anyways, this is the real series. And I mean, that thing right there looks about as real as it gets. But anyways, they put that bot, they put that prism or whatever, the body on the inside. So you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up or anything like that. But look at that little bitty old lip. And it's got two little treble hooks on there made by yozuri so you ain't got to worry about anything being bad uh so you know when i seen it for three bucks i was like gotta have it uh i don't have a lot of their 3d real series but uh i do have one a couple now uh this right here uh Strike King uh, Pro Model Crankbait Series 4 dive 5 to 8 feet. I bought this dude and it was $2.94. It was for this color only, which is uh, Sexy Sunfish. But for $2.94, you couldn't pass, I couldn't pass it up. It's a little bit bigger than what I would normally fish, but like I said, for two dollars and ninety-four cents, I wasn't passing it up. We got our yo know, our tackle warehouse sticker. All right, we got two baits left. <clears throat> Sorry about the long video, y'all. Next up, this is uh, the late fork slash 80 jerk bait and uh this is the arkansas shiner which is why i really wanted it because i live here in arkansas and this is what our shiners look like and uh if y'all seen it, one of my videos i was fishing with uh thunderhawks jerk bait well this right here is an exact replica of it it's got the cylinder transfer weight, uh, weight in it which is uh really hard to i mean i don't know how to explain it it's uh different than most most have like a little bead in it that transfers back and forth this has a bit like a big cylinder but anyways uh well look at that you look on the back it says uh produced by thunderhawk all right so that explains it but anyways it's a three feet uh dive three feet and it's uh three <clears throat> three and a half inches long and weighs a quarter a quarter ounce but anyways i thought that was real cool but that makes a lot of sense because it's made by thunderhawk And then, last but not least, I've seen this little dude. I've got the bigger version of it, and I had to get it. It's the Castaic Square Bill, and uh, this is the little 1.5, dives two to four feet, and this one's called the American Shed. I think I have the 3.5. And it was like really big, so that's why I wanted this one. But anyways, look at that color scheme on that little dude. 
But they call that an American shed. Got some silver down there on the bottom. And on the side, I mean, it's, you can just see that color. It's kind of crazy. But the body shape of it's kind of weird. I guess because the gill plates and stuff come out. And makes it look funny. Because most of them are smooth. Uh, but anyways, really nice looking bait in my opinion. Uh, that'll have a lot of reflection, you know. And... It looks like a bluegill, looks like a shed, it looks like a little bit of everything, so, uh, that'll be a good one to fish right now, because, you know, whatever they're hitting, that kind of imitates all of it. But anyways, that is today's video, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm sorry about it being so long, 30 minutes, but anyways... Uh, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you can. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. And I will see y'all on the next one.